All right, guys, today is the start of something very, very cool, which I'll be sharing with you later in the video. But first, I've got to get Kev clean because, um, yeah, we're going to be doing something with both my bikes, my new bike, which I'm yet to show you, and Kev. So, yeah, stay tuned, but let's get him, let's get him clean first. So, Kev is clean, he's in the back of the car, along with my new Belgi Disc V3 frame set, which you guys haven't seen yet. Um, it's still in the box, I'm still waiting on all the other components, components to arrive, but where we're off to right now is we're coming into Surrey and we are off to gun control custom paint because both my bikes are going to be getting painted and I'm going to be bringing you guys along for the process of how that works and kind of an insight into custom paint. I've never, I've never painted my bikes before, um, so I'm super interested in how that process works. So I'm gonna be working with Gun Control Custom Paint to kind of take you through that, uh, meeting with Andy and the team and kind of going through, you know, ideas and the kind of designs that I've come up with and kind of working with them. Um, yeah, so really, really excited about this project. Um, and this is the start of it. Oh, this is the dog. Yeah. <laughs> is, is, the is she friendly? Yeah, she's lovely. Yeah, she's very friendly. This is, this is our little uh, this is shop. This is awesome. Yeah, so uh, we've got to start a fairly full rack of this one yeah. to do. Some stuff is in process, some bits are done, so that legend over there is done. Uh, Jordan's one is essentially done. But half of the stuff, uh, most of these are actually ready to be painted. Yeah. Um, so they'll turn up. Depending on who they're for, they might turn up from a factory in raw carbon, just yep. like that. Yep. Um, they'll wait until they get designed to it. And then we're gradually moving through stages, so they go outside, they get cleaned uh, and degreased, so we can't have any contaminants sure. in there. And then they'll move over into the sanding stages, where they'll go through near, nearly a day of sanding, depending on what the frame is. Well, I mean, yeah. If it's brand new, it won't be as much because obviously there's no paint to get rid of. Yeah. Yeah, um, but something older, we've got that Bianchi down there that's got quite a lot of decals and logos yeah. on. All yeah. of that has to go. Oh, um, um, so it has to be a really smooth, clean finish um, for us to basically start again. Uh -huh. um, if we want any polishes on it, you, although you can get matte specific polishes that yeah. don't add a shine to it, if I was to get um, like a polishing compound and rubbed that black there, yeah. it would eventually go shiny, just like that bike frame. Oh, you should, yeah, really yeah, warm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's the only downside to using that. Is yeah. that Different, but this has got a load of other effects on it as well. Wow. But, um, oh, you were looking at something like that yeah, and that's, when you were. That's wicked. And that, yeah. as you can see on the angle, that's sort of ready orange. That's crazy. Brown there. Got, can you see that gold? Yeah. Right the, the brief was a galaxy, basically. Yeah. So yeah. Seen something else we'd done, or Sam had done. But that black is actually blue. Oh, yeah, wow. See? It's just a really dark blue. Yeah, it's just really. Well, it's a black, but I suppose it's just a bluey black. We, just we can't make those colours, so we buy those in. Yeah. And there's a few really, they, again, the selection of them has gone mad in the last few years. There's loads of them. What they are, different colour pigments, probably for that, I think there's three different colours in that, all mixed within the same paint. And they put microscopic beads, like clear silica beads, going back to silica beads again. Mm -hmm. Clear silica beads in there, that what they do is they block the light at certain angles. They will actually block the light and reflect it back so that you're seeing blue. But the colour behind it is red. And so what they're doing is the beads are actually prevent. You know like when uh, at school where they used to get to draw a picture on like a concertina bit of paper and mm -hmm. you fit it one way, it's, mm -hmm. it's a donkey. Yeah, the other yeah, way yeah, yeah. okay. Oh, it's I, the same principle. I actually, yeah, I understand. So the angle analogy, of the yeah. bead yeah. is reflecting the light back and blocking that colour. Yeah. So yeah. when you look at it from the other direction, yeah. the light yeah. is able to travel through. It's a really, it's, it's unbelievable mm. how they manage to do it. Around forty thousand 
yeah, certain so types of colour. Every car manufacturer, um, yeah. we can have access to colours, yeah. So we've got all the colour books that we can flip through, which is a bit overkill for, for doing just bicycles, but it is good because many years ago I used to paint cars and someone yeah. says, oh, I want this particular, for example, like that blue. Yeah. Well, the French car manufacturers make loads of really nice blue, so yeah. having access to those sure. means that two people don't need to be of the same colour. This is, you were saying, this is the oven, right, or not? Yeah, so this is the, yeah, so it's a spray booth oven. It has two different cycles that it does, so you'll put it onto spray, it gets fed with filtered, all of this roof here uh, is, is filtered, so you get filtered fresh air coming in, and it recycles it back out through two sets of filters back into the, into the system, and it keeps pumping around basically, and keeps that air at perfect temperature for spray. So it's a completely controlled environment basically? Completely controlled environment. Yeah. In fact, don't touch the walls because they're covered in a, like a very light glue. Okay. Um, so what happens is any, absolutely, yeah. any dust, there's pink everywhere where I've done that galaxy the other day, I'll tell you about that in a minute. <laughs> but, <laughs> but everything sticks to the walls or it goes out of that um, bank of filters there, and the idea is it's not going on your frame. Um, yeah. So yeah, I'll shut the door just so. which is great because it means we can tint stuff. So if you've got um, a 1970s bicycle that you want restoring, mm. provided it's got a piece of the colour, well, I yeah. can match to that colour, wow. which means we just literally will sit in there and just mix colours by hand and by eye until we've got to. You know, don't have ah. to bicycle yours on, mate. Yeah, really, yeah. Just yeah. stood in there until it looks right. And then yeah. Oh, yeah, that's my deal, yeah. So we're both nodding at each other. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's how it happened, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Right. So trying to make this Eve's Klein blue, which is yeah. super difficult to yeah. match. And there was a mat that was what we used the mattifier for, that stuff on the inside of the dual handles. Uh -huh. And we were trying to mix that up, and it sort of messes with your eyes, and you know when it's right, because your eyes start feeling a bit weird. <laughs> we both looked at each other like, yeah, that's, that's the one. That's just felt weird. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. Yeah, that that's, is that's, that's all there is to it. Yeah. Um, in terms of the facilities. Yeah.